Yo, what's good, guys? I got a new Pendulum creation for you guys. This whole new format is just gonna be all control decks, all horrible decks like Striker, Salamangre, Trap decks, True Draco, whatever. So I built a deck that absolutely punishes control decks and just destroys all back row easily built in the main deck with the idea that you don't need to side for decks like that because the main deck is all almost sided in already with cards like Eccentric, Garuda, and cards that get them and just obliterate control decks and punish decks like that. So hit the subscribe button. It's 60 cards to allow you to play all these cards with 17 draw cards. It's absolutely insane. So without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. So you got three Servant, three Abductor. The decks are evolved around these. You play 17 draw cards which i'm going to explain as we go on to the video it's a new spice that i've been testing with pendulum and it's amazing especially versus control decks and the total spell count i believe is around 38 37 so you resolve these all the time and the reason why you play abductor is because of this i'm about to show you guys right now this card's seen a lot of play before but now eccentric so the reason why you play abductor is you're facing a bunch of control decks you're going to be facing uh salaman great sky striker trap decks you're going to be seeing a lot of that so now Abductor, because you resolve every single hand, is going to get you a center. And it's going to pop the problem and your opponent will never see it coming. And Abductor against Control Decks is absolutely insane. Because you're going to end up getting a plus on every single turn. And Control Decks, you don't got to worry about breaking the board. So you're allowed to play more stuff like this. And you still play 17 draw cards. So you're actually playing a 43 card deck, not a 60 card deck. So you still see these like crazy. The decks revolve around these and now more turbo cards. These are 100% turbo cards in this deck because you play so many spells. You play three of these, three of these, and guess what comes back? Two Cerberus. So, I want to play three because it does conflict when you see too many abductors and too many Cerberus. So, two is fine. These, these are the only ones that conflict. It does not conflict with Servant because Servant will leave the scale first. Now, the thing with Cerberus is this. You're, face, you're playing against control decks, okay? So, if they ash your Cerberus, it's fine. Because you play so much damn turbo cards and extenders that even if they ash this, you're still going to be able to get everything on board. And Cerberus obliterates every single control deck because it gets you uh, free MST in Garuda, which against control decks is gigantic. And Garuda, you don't need a centric to search it, so you don't need Cerberus to search it, you can just pop it by itself. And against combo decks like Pendulum, which you're going to be seeing a lot of now, Garuda is the best interruption having in hand because when you special this from the hand, it uh, puts the whole trip Pendulum Summon back to the hand. Gigantic card, amazing card. Uh, but more all these turbo cards, and if you look at all the turbo cards, there's about in this in the spell area there's three seven there's seven turbo spell cards so you're looking at seven eight nine twelve fifteen eighteen you're playing 21 turbo cards which is insane compared to like the uh, 10 or seven that people normally play absolutely amazing and 60 cards you have the ability to draw into all of them and believe me they never break you should really test it for yourself especially in this format because there's no there's all control decks and you don't gotta worry about combo decks you're not gonna see a lot of it and two dark worm uh, I I preach this all the time. Don't play three. Uh, it just it sucks in your hand. It sucks in your hand. You don't want to see it. Playing pen call is not enough reason to play a brick uh, more bricks in your deck. This is like the gem knight garnet of the brilliant fusion. It's great, but you'd rather not see it in your hand. Now for magicians, one of these six. Okay, so because you're playing against you're, you're, the whole deck, the whole format is going to be back row type of decks. One purple poison is okay to have, but it's still garbage versus Orcus and Thunder Dragon, even Pendulum, because you're going to seal it away. The formats change where Guard Dragons and Orcus, Dengirsu, make purple poison useless. But against uh, decks that play a lot of Floodgates now, you might want to have one. So before this, uh, originally I played these five, and then I took it out for these five, because Ope is too huge. Ope and Pit and Scale against combo decks, uh, control decks, destroy them. Because every turn you're going to be adding back, adding back, adding back, and you're going to be able to destroy them. And as I said before, one harmonizing is all you need. Even with the Zahirs, which I play now in 60 cards, it doesn't matter if you banish any of these. A lot of the times, harmonizing, you're never going to resolve its effect anyways because your, board, your board's going to be too full with a lot of combos, which I'll explain if we have time at the end of the video, where you're going to end up having way too much monsters on board to even resolve a harmonizing. A lot of the times, you add a Servant with Electrum, and Servant's going to be on board, so you're not going to resolve harmonizing anyways. One gate zero. One Endymion, one Jackal. You only play three Desires. If you banish any of these, it doesn't matter. What matters more so is Mare Mare, because the whole deck going seconds are all around Mare Mare, and other cards, but if you banish them, you have more plays now, so it's okay. Because at 60, you also have lots of chance of banishing them. Absolutely amazing cards. Garuda is amazing, this format. Against combo decks, Garuda is useless, but when you use Garuda against <laughs> decks like Sky Striker, Salaman Great, any trap deck, it's absolutely insane. Same with the Centric, so... Cards like that are amazing, like Eccentric too, like it's just amazing. And the thing with these is that they're also amazing versus combo because you just summon them. And you'll be surprised how much work uh, all these cards put in against control decks. It's built to destroy control. 
Now the spices I haven't played before, but this deck, this, this engine is fucking amazing. Oh my goodness. You never normal summon ever. So I play three blue boy, three secrets, and one knowledge. You never normal summon. Ever. Ever. And the, the synergy that these cards have with the entire deck, because you play 21 turbo cards. So you don't need to normal summon to make Electrum. With three of those cards being served, six of those turbo cards being servant, you end up having your Electrum all the time anyways through this. And the way the uh, it adds two spell counters for free, they basically add one of these and you resolve Servant or Abductor all the time. Because you get two free counters on it and the, you draw two cards. And those two cards, there's at least going to be one or two spells in it and you resolve Servant or Abductor like that. And a lot of, it's so absolutely amazing together. And a lot of the times, this is a must in the game. you, you got to think if you're going second. This deck is built to go second versus control. You could legitimately go second purposely against control decks and destroy them. So the deck is built to go second with cards like Garuda, Eccentric, all that. So you got to look at it like this. Servant or Abductor is a must negate from your opponent no matter what. Electrum is a must negate. Spellbook Blue Boy is a must negate. Those are three must negates that your opponent must negate or lose. And then you destroy them with Mare Mare and Double or Nothing, which I'm going to show you guys later. The deck just is built to destroy these decks. And if you play it, you're going to see just for yourself just how amazing it is. And as I said, you have 17 draw cards. So on top of those 10, you're basically playing a 43-card deck because now you have all these draw cards as well. Look at the draw power. Your Servant and Abductor is resolving every damn time. You never brick because you have the infinity draw power. And you ever draw doubles at anything? So for example, let's say you draw two, let's say you draw two of these. You pen call it away or use your nightmares to get discarded. You never have dead cards in this deck because the extra cards that you can't use again on that turn, you just discard. So it's totally okay. And Dragon Caller turning, a lot of times you're going to Veiler and Permanence this, lots of the times. So now Dragon Caller will be able to target it, making it a dragon. So it's never useless. And a lot of times when you draw double, Knowledge is just going to discard the double from your hand. Or if you draw into a Secrets with Knowledge or something like that, you just discard it with Pen Call or you discard it with your Nightmares. Because going first is no problem, it's going second, which is the issue. Which, will, with the, the way this deck is built, you just destroy decks going second. You can legitimately choose to go second, but I still obviously want to go first. Three Mastery, obviously. Three Shrine, one Foolish. Even in 40, you have to play three Shrine, one Foolish. And then because you play 60, you can afford to play six Pen Call. And then the best card in the deck is Double or Nothing. Literally, with all the cards that must be negated or lose, with Shrines must be negated, Mastery must be negated, Pen Call must be negated. Like, all these cards, Desires, all these cards that must be negated by the cards, your whole Pen Summon, leaves cards like this that are the auto wins, which your opponent does not see coming. And for people that say, oh my god, it bricks. Shut the hell up. It doesn't brick. It's literally win cons. And because you never normal summon, you just normal summon Mare Mare if you have to. I attribute some of this all the time. And it's a dragon color targeted. It's amazing. People that, this deck is a very high skill cap. So people that don't like these cards are also generally noobs. Because you don't know how to use these cards. Any pro player that looks at this deck or looks at these cards understands the power of them. They're auto win bombs. And because the whole deck has cards that need to be negated, like you play with minimal bricks. Like, you don't play 50 Black Fangs or Pro Poison and do nothing. Every card in this deck needs to be negated. And there's only so many card interruptions your opponent's going to have until you drop that fat Mare Mare, Dragon Color, target the token, and just obliterate them. That's the main deck. It's amazing. I would not change nothing in the main deck. Uh, absolutely amazing. The only cards I would change is obviously when you're siding. Now, siding, you're going to have cards. You side out these going first. Now, the deck's built to go second. You saw all the cards that are built to go second. So, I'll talk about the side deck after. The side deck's huge in siding. The extra deck, the Electron, B-Cop, you need another card going downwards. Way better than Lambda, because the fact does come up. LP, Triple Burst, Agar, Pain, Seal. This is the Guard Dragon package. You just need to play them, and Seal brings up Vortex. And the Distrudo from the Guard Dragons bring up Dragster. Dragster is better than Zeta. You need want more spell trap negates this format. Next, one Yazi, one Link Rebo. The fact that Harmonizing goes into it is insane. Uh, the, a lot of the ways you play through, there's a lot of pro plays involved in this deck, which, is, like I said, the skill cap is extremely high. With a lot of times, you're going to want to add open pit instead of harmonizing. You're going to be able to use Electrum effect, no problem. Use ghost, uh, If they go so over Electrum, get harmonizing back with the Oak Dragon. And then that's how you get your free Yazi. So you have so many damn ways to get the Yazi, whether it be your Pen Call, your harmonizing Electrum Send, not even scared of Ghost Ogre, like the Distrudo, you have all your foolishes. Like it's an insane amount of times that you'll be absolutely insane not to play it. And the reason you play 60 is because you're actually playing 43 with the 17 draw cards, but it allows you to play amazing stuff like Double or Nothing, Yazi, etc. And just destroy your opponent. Your opponent does not see it coming, which leads to the other bomb, which is this. The opponent does not see it coming. They really don't. Yeah, I, we only play, basically play Purple Poison, honestly, for Utopia. This is one card, one card this, one card this, harmonizing insane like that. And because you play other level 4s, the Curtain Razor, Dark Worm, it's absolutely insane. And Curtain Razor leads to scale, so it's like you play 30 spells, 30, 40 spells for that. And two nightmares. Like, look at this deck going second. Like, you just obliterate them going second. 
And then the Boral Sword, you just obliterate them. And the whole Guardian combo, you do going second. Going second, you utilize your whole extra deck sometimes. Going second, which is insane. And the deck's amazing. I can't say enough amazing stuff about it. Like, I absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm going to play this. I prefer this list over my other one. Now, in terms of the side deck, going, it's built to go second. The deck's literally built to go second. You could choose to go second if you want. That's how good it is going second with all the cards. But not going first. You need some help going first because you'll still want to go first. And, and you still put up your typical Jackal, Seal, Vortex. There's no Seal target in there either. But now that you're after siding, you want to build a deck to auto win going first versus the Nibiru's, the Dark Rulers, Super Poly, Sphere Mode, etc. So we put these in an extra negate going first. We put in a Sloth. Sloth is better than Persona going first, but Persona is way better than Sloth all first or second because you don't know if you're going first or second. But now that you know you're going first, Sloth is better than Persona only going first. But you're not siding, you're not playing a target when you're going second. That makes sense? So we don't main deck a target. We just main deck a Sloth when you know you're going first. Now, when the sphere mode, you have a sloth coming out with protection. So though, and now, what else we play is this: because the extra deck is so tight with cards like these, but they're mandatory, and nothing else is mandatory in the deck aside from the whole guard dragon package with Boral Sword, and I believe Phoenix and Unicorn are mandatory. And now these, you have going seconds is absolutely easy. You destroy them going second, but now going first, you want more negates because you're going to be facing cards like Super Poly, etc. So you play these three. Absolute and Hot Red allows you to go absolute before your pen summon. To bring a hot red and vortex at the same time in a future video i'll show co all the combos you could possibly do so you get up more negates but so usually makes it possible because of its arrows so you're gonna end up with lots and lots of negates going first especially with device so you have seven negates going first but because the main deck's built to go second and extra deck's built to go second you're allowed to side this and now because it's built to destroy control you don't got to worry about siding versus control because you ha your main deck is built to destroy them you don't need to side more it just built to destroy it. Now the only issue is when you face decks like Mirror Match or... It's still built to destroy decks like that too. Because of Utopia, Yazi, etc. But you could take out cards like Eccentric, Garuda, ex all, st all stuff like that to destroy combo with this. The only thing you worry about is combo. You don't got to side against Garbage Control because the main deck's built to beat it. But now you have these. Lava Glow is better than Super Poly and you only have space for 9 cards. So you play these versus every other combo deck and you obliterate them. You play 43 cards, don't forget, because you have 17 draw cards. And you end up drawing into all these, and you just destroy them. Well, after siding, you'll have 10 draw cards, because you're going to take out this, uh, the blue boy package for these, and you take out like something else that's uh, going second, like a Garuda, or an Eccentric, and you have these in. And it's absolutely insane, just the synergy, the way I built up perfectly to destroy it. So that's the deck, guys. The deck's honestly insane. Like I can't say good enough, uh, more amazing stuff about it. I am 100% this is the deck I'll be taking to Niagara if I get banned by Niagara. It's absolutely insane. Uh, I am working on other builds with Sky Iris as well. But I think Sky Iris is an underrated card, but try this build up for yourselves. It's absolutely insane. Like it, I actually just don't lose with this build. It's insane. So I hope you liked the video. Copy tutorial coming soon. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.